So what is going on everybody? My name is Meho and welcome to your 16th tutorial for Electron and uh, let's just continue with our crazy images app, right? And we have this image effect function but we do not have the function which we created here which is set effect which would be called now this ng change would be called every time we slide the slider so this is where we need to actually update our css as well and we get a props.val so we're going to call this percentage percentage because that is or rather whatever you want to call this i'm just going to go with percentage and uh, what we can do in here is pretty much first of all let's just say um, how our scope dot uh, effects look like and see what happens to it I click on brightness I go to console I increase the brightness we see that uh, for brightness its value becomes 139 which is exactly what we want and the other parameters are changed perfect right so we do not need to do anything right here to the brightness so effectively we can just get rid of this percentage as well if we want in the edit image so we can just say this as set effect right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna recompute the styles every time this function is called so I'm gonna create a generated styles variable somewhere here generated styles and I'm gonna again set them generated styles to blank so that we can just begin every time with a clean slate and uh, I'm gonna finally say for I let I in um, scope dot effects now this essentially gives us I is equal to let's say for the first run brightness and uh, scope dot effects I and then val would give us all the access to that properties right so I'm gonna say generated styles is I would like to have something like brightness as 10% something like that and since CSS is case insensitive so we do not need to worry about these being capital right so that's an advantage and if you might have noticed that these are all valid CSS WebKit filters so you we can just do something like filter and we can just pick up anything like that and we can just 54% or anything like that we can just go ahead and do that so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is say uh, pretty much like oh let's just go ahead with template string why not I and then inside the braces I want uh, scope dot effects dot uh, effects I dot value and then scope dot effects I dot delimiter and uh, the space at the last right so yep and we just want this to append not just set it equal to right and then finally we can just console log generated styles to see what we are getting and if we run this e1 brightness and if we increase the brightness let's say we are getting this thing so if i just go ahead and uh, inside my elements do the image if we set the filter to this thing uh, we are getting some problem here right uh, the problem is we have a space in degree right so let's just get rid of that so we're gonna remove that okay so now this should work fine now finally what we need to do is pretty much uh, actually let's just get a reference image reference and how we can do that is uh, by saying id main image and we can say document dot get element by id 
main image and then finally we can say or actually we do not need to put that in scope so we can say image reference dot style dot filter is generated styles and uh, yep so if we take a look now e1 brightness increase the brightness you can see that our filter works perfectly fine right let me just increase the width of this slider it's way too small right now so here we have our contents this is our effect and why is it so small dot effect uh, we can say this is flex one and align i align self stretch display flex justify content center align items center and uh, flex direction column for this one and uh, finally we can just paste it in our styles and e1 brightness we can go ahead and increase and decrease the brightness okay so that is all for this tutorial and uh, we learned how to actually apply the effect we are performing here right here and this would actually work with every other effect as well if you want to try because we have made a generalized solution for this so if we go like uh, saturate we can go to 200 or 0% and I don't really know what that, that means actually it kind of looks like just grayscale to me but there might be a difference with some other images so yeah that's all for this one and in the next video we are gonna cover some more information and uh, actually let the user return to the effects page as well so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and thank you for watching i see you then in the next one